Hello everybody, welcome to part two of this Logic Pro tutorial series on how to make your MIDI strings sound more realistic. Alright, in last time's exciting episode in part one, which you can see here. Okay, last time we did, uh, we did all the MIDI stuff, we took care of all that business, we did some modulation, we did some expression control, we did some volume control. Now we're going to get into the reverbs, okay? So... In order to get more realistic strings, we have to have one, and two. Ah, oh, my neck hurts. All right, let's go on over to Logicville. Hello, welcome back to Logicville. All right, I'm going to do something real quick that I forgot to do at the uh, the end of the last video. I didn't take off the, the space designers, so you couldn't hear after we did the modulation, the expression, and, and the volume, you couldn't hear what uh, just the string sounded out, uh, because I kept the, um, or sounded like, rather, sounded out, that doesn't make any sense, uh, sounded like because I kept the space designers on. So this is, uh, this is the strings with just their sort of stock space designer on it. Bum, 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 bum. All right, not too bad. You know, the, the, it comes with a pretty decent tight little reverb on there, but we want something a little bigger, something that's going to get rid of that sort of perfected uh, MIDI tone altogether. So uh, what we're first going to do here is with the basses, the cellos, and the violins, you're going to set up some buses. So I've got all my basses over here on uh, bus one, cellos, bus two, violins, bus three. And then, as you can see, I've labeled them low string, mid string, and then apparently I forgot what I was doing and named this one violin. So uh, with the basses, because they're super aggressive in this song, um, I've done actually a channel EQ on there as well. So playing, uh, playing the basses here, I've taken out a lot more of the low end since I'm staying really, staying really, really low with the uh, um, all the notes here, and then I took out some of these these mids right here, and then just boosted all the highs, you know, uh, if you know, for whatever reason, just so it wasn't muddy sounding and that kind of thing. Now we're gonna uh, keep here with the trend of the low basses, and that's gonna be our first space designer. Now, I have a bunch of presets already, but you can find whatever works for you. I picked Nice Hall, uh, and then I saved it as this preset, because then when I do orchestral stuff, I can I just kind of throw it on there and then mess with it a little bit. Um, so I'm going to unbypass this here, okay? And uh, you can pick whatever room works for you. I use Nice Hall. If, I'm, if I don't want to do a bunch of individual string reverbs and that kind of thing uh i do a uh i'll go to like a large space here and i will pick a sound stage 12 usually i'll pick uh, i'll pick that thing that usually is a pretty pretty nice sounding uh thing but right now let's go with nice hall so this is what it sounds like uh now with the uh reverb unbypassed you can already hear it Got a nice decay on there. Okay, so if you go too big with the reverb, now that might be good for, you know, uh, say maybe uh, an interesting part of like a horror flick or something like that, uh, but not for this sort of uh, tight orchestral uh, uh, quartet thing that we're working on here. So let's go back here. And then you just kind of find what sounds good. And I kept it at about 20. And remember, you've got a couple of other things here. You're going to have the mid strings and the violins all going. So uh, all of those reverbs are going to be fighting each other. So you don't want to go too big too soon. Um, now, this right here, this basically gives it... Think of it almost as like a second volume switch, but it also 
it brings up sort of the clarity of the strings. I brought it all the way to max for this. I think I did th that way with all the other ones as well. So there's your bass. Okay, now let's get rid of all this. And let's just be smart about it here. And we'll just select the, uh, the mid. So this is our sort of ostinato phrase. All right, and it keeps those uh, two lower notes there and lets the uh, um, the violin sort of take it up so you get like a nice uh, chord at the at the end there. Uh, you can hear the ostinato phrase and it kind of sounds fake even though we've done a lot of the same stuff that we did down here in the violins. So that's why we need to add in this bad boy. And I've taken some of the dryness uh, back on this one and I've made this one even less so it looks like. So yeah, it softens them up quite a bit already. If you bring it all the way forward, it's gonna be too loud, a little too aggressive. So I kept it right about there, all the way back. And it just sounds like you're recording like on your cell phone at the end of the room or whatever. So let's go back once again, because there's so many notes going on. That's why it's not even at 20, because even at 20, it sounds a little much. So I backed it all the way off to 29, 30. Once again, there's a preset of cello strings. Uh, nice haul. So that's that one right there. Then with the violins here, single this bad boy out. And these are all the violins. Now, the violins seem to have the most at negative 16 that's all the way up the dryness so let's uh take a listen and there's the sound that we're used to from the last video once again if you go a little too dreamy a little too crazy but we want a little bit more than the other ones since they're such a prominent thing and they're going to be doing the most work um you know, it's, it's, I think, to have a little bit more on there. And they have, like, those flowing phrases. Uh, and then have the dryness all the way up on this. Because, once again, if you take it back, it just sounds too far away. Now, in an orchestral situation, like a full orchestra, when you've got a ton of tracks, you might want to do this. However, for this, I have it all the way up. And there we have it. Now, now they're starting to sound pretty good. We've uh, we've toyed with the MIDI. We've added some reverbs. We did some bussing. All that's left is the compression and and and, and all the final little tweaks. So, join me in part three for all the final sauce. Just stick it all over that sound burger we're making. That was a stupid analogy. <laughs>